Human activity is changing the environment. Our technologically advanced civilization consumes vast quantities of irreplaceable fossil fuels at an ever-increasing rate. A typical coal-burning power station burns about five tons of coal every minute. More than half of our electricity comes from such power stations. The Chinese have been building more than one of these per week for several years now. The amount of carbon dioxide humanity is releasing into the atmosphere is staggering. Since we started measuring the atmospheric concentration in the late 19th century, the level has risen from about 280 to about 390 parts per million. These figures are tiny, as a percentage, considering nitrogen constitutes about 800,000 parts per million and oxygen is about 200,000 parts per million of the air in the atmosphere. But a small difference to a small percentage of carbon dioxide does make a difference to the amount of heat retained by the Earth from the sunlight. Plant life effectively reverses what happens when we burn stuff. They turn carbon dioxide gas into something solid. Stems, leaves, flowers, fruit, and also wood in the case of trees. Anywhere on the Earth where the temperature is higher than a few degrees centigrade for some of the time, and there is water, some soil and sunlight, the chances are that there will be plants grown there. Nature stores carbon in the trunks and branches of trees until such time as the tree is burned or rots away completely. Decomposition is where fungi and other organisms feed on the plant material and cause the release of the carbon back into the atmosphere. There are other factors in the carbon cycle such as the oceans and almost all other life forms but for now I'm focusing on plants in general and trees in particular. Covering the earth with trees will not undo what burning such a large quantity of fossil fuels has done but it is the only natural method of carbon capture which we can utilize more if we choose to. I think it's a good idea to use more timber than we do. If we make things out of wood which are useful to us and we look after them and avoid burning or allowing them to rot, then we have not only removed some carbon from the atmosphere, but also have useful stuff. In the UK, timber plantations typically take at least 30 years from planting to harvesting. So ongoing replanting and forest restoration projects should be encouraged. These things are already happening but I'd like to see more. Whenever I see areas of hillside which used to be covered with forests but were cut down by humans, I feel a strong wish to see the forest restored. At the time I set up my YouTube channel I was going to call myself the Ent but for some reason decided to name the channel after my cat. Anyway, for the sake of the idea that it would be nice for humanity to survive for a few millennia yet, I think it would be no bad thing for more people to know more about forests and trees. There is a bad argument I've heard a few times, and it goes something like this. A tree absorbs carbon dioxide during its lifetime and then releases it all back to the atmosphere after it dies. Therefore, planting trees is pointless. While the first part is technically correct, it fails to take into account the fact that an individual tree takes a long time to rot away completely after it dies. Also, as long as the land continues to be wooded, other trees will take over, which means that the storage of the carbon will continue for as long as the forest is able to grow. Even if it is cut down for timber, we can keep hold of the carbon by doing something useful with the wood. The utilitarian argument is only part of the reason I'm enthusiastic about trees. They happen to be beautiful, and strolling through the woods can be an amazing antidote to the stresses of modern life. Why not preserve them for their own sake and the diversity of wildlife which lives in and on them, and not just for our own selfish reasons? While I'm here, I would like to say thank you very much to all my new subscribers and my old ones for continuing to watch my videos and 
I'll see you again soon.